Hi, this is Steve Kodad, uh, and my specialty is actually using feng shui to sell homes. So this particular video that I'm going to be doing today is on using feng shui to make the bedroom come off is very special. That's my picture. <laughs> and this is the logo of my company based in Southwest Florida. Now the master bedroom is a pivotal, pivotal place, pivotal moment when you're showing a house. It's actually one of what I call the eight most impressionable moments when selling. So bedrooms are very important for a lot of reasons. Of course, one of the things is that you want to make sure that the buyer feels like there's going to be a simple idea of being able to get restful sleep there so they can get up the next day and take on the world. The busy wallpaper and strong yang colors like you might see to the right hand side are way too energetic. So if you're staying there and you're okay with it, that's one thing. But when you're trying to sell a house, you don't want to give any impression the potential buyer that they might have difficulty getting a good night's sleep. A lot of feng shui has to do with how people react subconsciously. And they're going to walk in and they're not going to be sure why. They're just not going to think that this bedroom or these bedrooms are going to work for them. Now, symmetry is a very pivotal idea. And you want to show it always in the master bedroom. Actually, in most of the house, you do not want to do that. The master bedroom is to be treated specially. And if you know what symmetry is, it means that each side somewhat mirrors the other. So if you look at the picture that has the blue wall, then with respect to bedrooms, you want to create that situation. So if you cut, the middle of that bed down the middle it is somewhat like it on both sides so you always try to show your bedrooms to have basically the same side tables the same lamps okay you want to show equality whereas in other rooms in the house using asymmetry is really the best way to go it's much more of an excitement factor it actually pushes the idea of social interaction. The symmetry is an important thing to show in a master bedroom. And the position of the bed is also very important when somebody walks into the bedroom. And the first thing is that you should always use what I refer to as the classic armchair. If you've heard any of my other videos, you know what that is. Very quickly, the classic armchair means that you have your headboard up against a solid wall that is very important for a security idea for a comfort idea and if you look at these three pictures you're going to see that there's something not quite right in any of them but one of them is again the one in the middle is not using the classic armchair because it's up against a window so certain problems that you want to correct when you're trying to sell a house are the following you prefer not to have your feet pointing straight out the door that enters into the bedroom. So just move the bed somewhat to the left or to the right might do it just fine for you. Again, we want to start off being on a solid wall. So again, the window behind the bed does not create that solid feeling, that protected feeling. So you really try to stay away from that tremendously. If it's the only possibility, you need to have is more solid to be able to pull down. A mirror facing the bed, like you see in the bottom picture, is also something to take away. I prefer there not to be any reflective surfaces in the bedroom in the first place. But sometimes that's very hard to actually handle. But if you are going to have a mirror in there, try to... Uh, cover it up before you go to bed. But if possible, try to take this extra yang feature out of the bedroom when you're selling. 
A television in the room is something I would prefer you to take out too. A bedroom is a special thing. It's only supposed to represent two things. And that's romance and restoring yourself for the next day. You don't want to have any work showing in your master bedroom when you're selling. So an office or a workstation that you normally have in here should be taken away. Try to have nothing under the bed. You want to be able to allow the energy, the chi, to be able to move very simply and very easily. Now, the master bedroom also has particular uh, pictures sometimes above the bed, which can hurt or help the situation. You're always trying to show symmetry. And if you look at this picture of this particular bedroom, it's doing that. It's got the end tables or side tables on both sides. The lamps are the same. You cut it down the middle, it pretty much does that. But this is the one room where you want to show pairs. This room is not quite pulling that off. So one good way to do that is the actual painting above it, which I refer to as a focal point. And the focal points are very important in my training. So instead of that painting, consider something like this, where it shows two, two of something. Here's another one. This painting or paintings uh, could work in some other part of the house with respect to the five elements, but it doesn't work very well here. So a possibility would be something like this. And then finally, here's a bedroom that has three single women in it, okay, on the paintings. And so I would definitely want to replace at least the one above the bed. You're wanting to show a perfect situation for a couple. And it doesn't matter if the buyer is 19, 20 years old or 99 years old. There is that idea that they'd like to be able to share their house, share their life with someone else. So I have to replace it with something like this, with two people walking in the ring. Now, we do a lot of befores and afters in my training, and there's several things in here that are not quite working. One of them is there's the front door, and if you notice, the chair in front of it is in a very precarious position. So we're always worrying about the location of the back of things. Same with the couch up against the windows. So as you're going to see in the after, we're going to make some changes. First, the couch has been moved over to the solid wall, plastic armchair. So they now are more protected, therefore more comfortable, and they have a perfect view now of the door. And then, if you notice, the chairs have been moved over towards the windows, but at a 45-degree angle instead of directly parallel with the windows, therefore creating a more comfortable setting. So, I hope you enjoyed that short video. Uh, if you get a chance, please visit my, my website, thefengshuicure.com. I do a lot of live training workshops in the idea of using feng shui for real estate success. Thanks very much.